Why is there a moose on health bar? The heck? No. Don't tell me. Oh. Michael Jackson himself. This isn't the master's house. Where is master? Yeah, never mind that. Body breathing. Tenth form. Constant flux. that? The heck is this? Ah, oh, such a moosome thing to do. Whoever keeps making me teleport all over this place. Whoever it is, they only play like one string and one tune at a time. Can you imagine if they just went ham on that instrument? I wonder how the Infinity Castle would react. Upper Moon 6, I see. Well, those two are going to be a problem. And before anyone asks, Akasa got himself killed in the last episode when he refused to run from the sun and stay fighting making him die to sunlight. Might not be what you expected, but hey, I'm trying to be a bit consistent here. Depending on how strong they are, I can try and take out the both of them at the same time, otherwise I had to separate you two. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, poison! Oh, that's going to be a problem. I don't have milk. The siblings were too strong for me to take them both at the same time, forcing me to try and separate them. With a stroke of luck, Doki managed to get herself knocked back down in a hall, leaving her brother on his own. It was now or never. I didn't know if Doki could jump back up, but considering she is a demon, I wouldn't put it past her. Now separated, the siblings should be a piece of cake. After all, I have already dispatched of Upper Moon 5 and 4 in the previous episode. Die, you ugly son of a gun! Just. Go away from this life. There we go. And while you're dead, I'm gonna I'm go have fun with your sister. Hello, Ducky. Yotaro is gone, and nothing gonna stop me from pounding your ass in. Not like that. I'm not weird like that. You're a demon, and I have standards. Okay, okay, I understand that slight hesitation makes me lose credibility, but let's just say I got an open mind. You know, despite the, all the death and the imminent risk of falling into the infinite void, the infinity castle could be one heck of a playground or playland. Musan should have done that for financial stability. Oh, hey. I hate this so much, so much I tell you, and before I say what I'm about to say, spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't read the manga, this is your fault, you're the one who killed Shinobu and her older sister, but mostly Shinobu, 
I wanted so bad for her to survive and maybe start a life with Giyu. Do you have any idea how much I shipped them? Okay, spoiler warning off. And yes, I am on that ship. Tell me about your favorite ship if you have one. And if you have the patience for it, also give me a fanfic and also maybe the reason why they should be together, you know, just for curiosity. My commentary aside, the difference in power between Upper Moon 6 and Upper Moon 2 was vast. Okay, this guy kinda strong. Man, he hits hard. At least he doesn't have poison, but... I'm starting to run out of apples and I don't wanna use them all. I still have Upper Moon 1 and Musan himself. Come on, die! Die already! Man, the water is not helping. Run away to heal! So hard. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm a tie, I'm a tie, I'm a tie, I'm a tie, I'm a tie. First one, boy, frame it, I'm a tie, I'm a tie. Just die already. Ah, finally, you're dead. Oh, the difference in power between Upper Moon 6 and Upper Moon 2. Wow. If this was Upper Moon 2, oh, Upper Moon 1 is going to be so much trouble. And then there's Musan himself. Ugh. As soon as my Demon Slayer marks run out, I'll charge in and then activate it again. That way I can charge in fresh and ready for battle. The battle against the final and the strongest upper moon was about to begin. And this guy was on a whole nother level. You can see it in just his aura. If it wasn't for the six eyes, you might have been my favorite upper moon. But I finally kind of find your six eyes hideous to look at, so um, nothing personal. You don't really hit too hard. I got it. Okay, okay, too hard is not too bad. Okay, this stage here is kind of easier than compared to the last one. In the last fighting arena, the water was preventing me from running around to heal. In this battle stage, there are no such restrictions. For anyone wondering why I'm only using constant flux, it is because it's the strongest move I got and I got the, the other sword, flame breathing, for running around in case of emergency. Oh, that is a powerful hit. Oh, the shirt is off. He's getting serious now. Okay, so far he hasn't even gotten half of my health yet, so not too bad. His attacks are starting to hurt more than I would like them to. And it's kind of scary and intimidating watching a naked, a half-naked man running towards you. What do you do in that situation? I don't want to use too many of my golden apples. I want to save them for the final boss. And so far, I think I can afford it.
Jeez, you're hideous. Yeah, no wonder you chose death over looking like that. If I was that ugly, I would have wished for somebody to just knock my head off with a wrecking ball. Okay, that wasn't too bad, but only because there was no water to obscure my uh, running around to heal strategy. Now then, to get out of here... The heck? Musan! Oh, where are you, you son of a gun? Are you still inside the house? I will find you, and I will unalive you. I searched the house to no avail, but then I heard from my imaginary crow, who I definitely did not accidentally kill off screen, that Musan was at my village, searching for Tomayo, and also trying to ruin my house. I had to hurry, run faster than any Hashira I have ever ran before. Faster than even the sound Hashira, or even the thunder Hashira, who I last time heard uh, committed seppuku for some dumb reason, I don't really know, I don't really pay attention to those guys. In any case, at the village was the man himself. Musan was closing in to Tamayo, and the demon slayer stationed there stood no chance. This will not go unjust. Now or never, final boss. <sighs> okay. I can do this, 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 I can do this. Die, 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 die. Oh, I actually do quite a bit of damage, actually. Oops. Okay, I do more damage than I expected. Oh gosh, you look hideous. Like your standard villain boss fight, there's a second stage, a way more ugly one at that. You know, I would love for you to die. I only have seven golden apples left, and you have poison. Kinda wish that these apples could get rid of poison or cancel status effects, but that would be too much. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no, no. As I am experiencing a first-hand butt whooping. The title of Demon King is not just for show. Taking down Musan would be more difficult than I anticipated. Is he healing? I got him down to 80% health and he's been staying there for the last 5 minutes. Is he... healing? Oh. Oh shoot, not the other six, upper six, whatever his name was, uh, he was kind of forgotten. It would seem that the fight has turned into a 2v1, another upper six, who probably only got his position due to luck. And a thunder breather at that. Oh man, if I was a t-shirt of this guy, I would be so ashamed. Whoever taught that kid, he should go and stab himself in the stomach. I'm out of golden apples, Musan aren't even down to 50%, and I am slowly losing health. I like my odds. Oop. Gotta run. Gotta move this battle to the other side. Ooh. Did I kill the other random uh, upper moon, whoever that was? Since it was clear that I couldn't overpower Musan, I had no other choice but to draw the battle out and let the sun do the job. However, would I be even be able to survive for that long? He just won't die and I hate that about him. Seriously. Why are you so afraid of death? It's just part of life, just accept it. Ow. It's the 
sun out yet. The moment I get the chance, I must look at the moon and see how. Shoot! Okay, swim, swim, swim. But why am I not swimming? Swim, damn it! Swim. There we go. I wonder why did I swim? Okay, this is taking too long. Okay. Heal, heal. Okay. Oh, okay. It's soon to be. Oh, shh. Okay. Will we come down here? I don't oh, know. He's not. Oh, get out of here. I'm killing your boss at the moment. Hope this is good. Yes! <gasps> yes! Sunrise! Okay then, Musan, you and me. I did it! He's dead! And he's finally gone! What I do now? I kind of thought I would die as a demon slayer. Figuring out what I should do now aside. One thing was clear. I have defeated Musan. Unfortunately, at a cost. Alright fellas. Kate the... Uh, where's my Fletcher? Where's my Fletcher at? Come on. He took so much time to level up. Are you telling me he's dead? Unfortunately, during the battle, the fight got too close and my Fletcher paid with his life. Without his help, without his trades, I wouldn't have been able to defeat Musang. I had to give my fallen comrade a proper grave. And by that I mean invade, desecrate and steal someone else's. I don't really have his corpse, so this fletching table uh, should do it. There you go, and now the sign. R.I.P. You son of a gun. You tried to rip me off, but it was you who got the rip.